Welcome back, you fantastic beast. You guys used to be sexy sluts, but HR got some complaints. Some people were offended, so uh, welcome back, sexy sluts and uh, sophisticated nuns who are watching my shows. You can pick whichever ones you want to be. So, uh, if you're brand new to the Guess the Anime Game, it's a show where I take... I go on Twitter, I ask people to send me gifts, and uh, you guys choose anime content, and I have to go and identify where anime, which anime they're from. Um, I'm gonna add some new rules now, because I get a lot of stuff, and uh, people think it's kind of fun, but I feel it's really boring when uh, they choose something either with really low resolution, it's not fun for you guys to try to see it, and also for the stuff that is like, oh look, it's a raining sky, try to find which anime it's from. I praise my knowledge to be really high in anime stuff, but let's let's keep it fun. So uh, I'll, I'll choose to skip uh, some if I feel there's not enough uh, hints in them to figure out which show they're from. So without further ado, let's get into this. First one that I decided to post myself because I decided to uh, be funky and it's also a good it's a good point to start. And uh, this one here we have uh, this anime is from Yushibu. It is a very edgy one. Um, kind of good. The visuals are absolutely incredible. If you like that kind of stuff, uh, and you like Echi and you haven't seen this one, it's it's worth it's worth your time. Ooh, the first one is from El Monte. Uh, she's a voice actress. She's really cool. You should check out her stuff. Uh, this anime, I think it's from Shugokara, which is a kind of girly show. Uh, it, it's mostly targeted towards kids. I used to watch it way back on, I think it played on YTV. It was really fun. Um, it's kind of in the same vibe than uh, Tokyo Mew Mew and uh, Cardcaptor Sakura. If you can get the feel, that's pretty much what it, it aims to be. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I know this anime. And the thing is, it's, it's a fucking train wreck of a show. If you've never seen this anime, it's called Tenchino Drop. It, it's girls that are supposedly angels and uh, they pee candy donuts. It's about five minutes, ten, ten minutes long. It is absolutely retarded. And uh, I'm not quite sure what it tries to be. But I, I feel like it's as messed up as Boku no Pico in terms of WTF is going on. So uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, you, you should at least try it out because it's fun to bring to parties. Like, have you seen Tenchino Drop? It's weird. <laughs> uh, this is a picture and pictures don't really count because uh, I could just go on them and right click it and see like where they're from. Uh, but I feel like this is a title that is really rare, so I want to talk about it. It is um, A Merman in My Tub. It's a comedy show, it's really short, I think it came out recently. It's interesting. Uh, if, you, if you're looking for new fresh shows, uh, I think this might be up your alley. Okay, 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 I get you, I get you. Um, this is from Codebreaker. I, yeah, the, art, the, the eyes and the, uh, the art style I, and the flames, I, I'm pretty sure it's from Codebreaker. And while we're at it, uh, Darken and Black, if you have not seen it. it I feel like Codebreaker and Darken and Black are really similar. So uh, if you like one, maybe you'll like the other. Well, the art style on this one is really easy. Um, the character design is really iconic to the Higurashi franchise. Uh, notice me, senpai, with the Fully Cooly, or FLCL. Really iconic anime. Uh, one of the classic, it's getting a remake, or so I've heard. Um, if you have not seen it, I think it's one of the shows that people have to see at some point. <laughs> this one I am sure. Uh, this is, uh, I think her name is Noelle from Sorano Method. You can't, you can't get me with kawaii stuff. It's my jam. Like, my friends. Noble's got his itchy stuff, Aki got her hentai, uh, I got fucking Moe cute stuff. That's my department. <laughs> I feel that's a weird thing to be proud of, but hey, whatever. Hey, well, we're in that Moe cute stuff. Um, this is from Princess Tutu. 
Uh, a lot of people think it's a really kiddy show. Not really. It gets pretty dark, so... Um, not as dark as Madoka Magica would get, but uh, kind of in the same, like, adult mentality. So, uh, give it a chance. I know it's it's a title that a lot of people see and are like, ah, nah, 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 not for me, but it, it's really, it's really good. Uh, see if you know my favorite series. Again, cute stuff. You can't get me with that. Um, that is... Uh, Tenpaona to Seishun Otoko, or Psycho Electric Girl, ah, really fun title, again with absolutely stunning visuals, so um, yeah, as you can tell just by the gif itself, uh, it is incredibly pretty, so uh, if you like cute stuff, if you like comedy and uh, really beautiful art, that's for you man, girl, person, <laughs> whatever you identify as, Apache Helicopter. Mm. Uh, notice me, Senpai, please. Uh, this is a classic from Studio Ghibli. Uh, it is... Honio. Oh yeah, this anime. Uh, this is probably... It's kind of a dickish move too at the same time because this character has a really iconic art style that doesn't match with anybody else in the show. Um, I don't even remember his name. I think it was something like uh, Musashi? My... Figure it out, future Misty. Um, but yeah, he is from Yowamushi Pedal. Um, classic, if you like uh, martial art and uh, good comedy, this is Bento. Really good show. Again, incredible visuals, but I think there was, there's only one season, so 12 episodes. If you want to give it a try, and hey, and you haven't seen it, uh, it's, a, it's, it's definitely an interesting premise where people have to fight in a supermarket to get food. So yeah, it's fun. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I know this one, I know this one. It's City Hunter. Uh, this one I wouldn't have any idea, but the uniform kind of tells me it's from School Live Idol Project. And they, they're all about music and she has Maraca, so I'm gonna go with that guess. <sighs> really? Again? Fucking Christ! Yeah, it's for Amore Gairu, I know, I know. I'm sorry I messed it up the first time. Can we move past this now? I got it. Uh, this one all as well. Uh, it, this one is also from Oregairu. Uh, Yahari no Seishun Love Comedy wa Machigateiru. I never remembered full title, but yeah, uh, this anime. Really good if you like um, just kind of slice of life, comedy, drama, romance, a, a good jumble of school stuff together. Uh, this heart style reminds me a lot from uh, Durarara. I don't know which season it is. I don't think it's the first season. Oh, from Skip Beat Central! <laughs> um, they're the one that are working on getting the uh, the dub for Skip Beat, which is an incredible anime, by the way. So I highly recommend you check it out. But uh, the gift they submitted was from Outlaw Star, I think, from the '90s. This is from it's it's again it's a long title, but I think it's uh, Binan Koko Boy Blue Love. A reverse magical girl, so magical guy to transform and, and fight. I don't, I don't really know what it's about. Well, since I just did a doppelganger about this anime, I can tell you this is from Huran High School Host Club. Oh, uh, this one is from Sanic X, uh, the uh, the animal. Uh, super cool, but they ran out of budget, so they had to cancel the show. Uh, but that was one of their high moments during the anime. So much. See, that's exactly what I was meaning earlier before. Nobody knows what this is from. If you do, congrats, you deserve to shake my hand if you ever meet me in person. Because that's just rain on the sky. Which could be from pretty much any anime ever with decent graphics. Could go from the Fate franchise to, I don't know, maybe even Code Geass. It's too vague. There's no hint for me to dig it from, so... Pass! Ooh. Uh, this is from Sakurasu no Pet Nakajo. Incredibly funny anime. Uh, hints of romance. Wish there were a season 2. Uh, 
This I would have no idea if it weren't for the blue hair and the bunny in the bottom corner. It is from Data Live. Yeah. Another one that I have absolutely no idea of what it's from. Uh, it's not fun to try a guess when it's just that little information. So again, pass. If you know it, good for you, but it's, it's, it's a boring one to pick from. Uh, this is from Akidiras the anime. She's she's playing the main character here. I I don't know what's from. <laughs> I tried to play it off as I knew it, but I don't. Uh, I have no idea what it's from. <laughs> this one I know. Uh, this is from Hamagami SS. Really good show that I strangely uh, mix a lot with uh, Kimi Kiss Pure Rouge. And I don't know why, I think it's because they have the same thematic and I watch them both back to back. Um, or it's because the character design are kind of similar. But uh, yeah, this one is from Amagami SS and there's also Kimi Kiss Pure Rouge which is in the same vein. Uh, both are, are great if you like romance anime. <laughs> Alright, I, I gotta talk about this one for a little bit. This is from Ghost Story, and yes, the caption that you see on the screen is actually from the anime. Uh, the thing is, this anime, Ghost Story, uh, came out in Japan and it absolutely flunked. It was a train wreck from beginning to start, so whenever the company that bought the license got the rights for dubbing the show, um, the, the people in charge were like, they told the voice actors to just let loose, say whatever you want, as long as you follow kind of the same line and the, uh, the lip flaps that are going on. So uh, there's a lot of incredibly funny jokes in this. It turned a, an anime that was originally spooky into a fantastic comedy. So uh, Ghost Story, incredible show to watch dubbed and uh, take it from there. If you <laughs> if you want to have a good laugh, a great show to watch with friends. So uh, definitely give this one a try. It's it's absolutely incredible. And yes, principal always look like lesbians. <laughs> oh, this is another one from the uh, the Moe Gallery. Uh, this is Mika Kunin de Shinkoke, uh, a show that I greatly enjoyed. That felt a little fresh. Uh, so um, uh, if you like your cup of Moe blob. There we go, another one you can pick from. <laughs> uh, this is a classic, uh, one of the shows that aired this year. It is from uh, Boku no Hero Academia, which I absolutely love. Um, so much that I couldn't wait for season two and I went ahead and read the manga. Oops. Guess, uh, guess I'll have to watch season two when it comes out, but I already know what happens though. next. Uh, this is kind of hard to tell. But I'm still gonna have a guess because <laughs> that's the point of this show. Um, I think because of the uniform and the um, the strand of hairs that we kind of see, and the fact that it's a girl eating a sausage, I'm gonna go with uh, a certain scientific railgun. Uh, this is not an anime I've seen, but from what I've uh, I've read about it and from the um, the art style that seems to be kind of iconic, I want to say this is from Bungo Stray Dogs. Am I right? Daddy, am I right? Oh. <laughs> uh, this is a show that's really well loved, but not as popular as probably the people who watch it would want it to be. I think the title is... Uh, Tanaka-kun is always listless. I don't remember it in in Japanese, but um, it's a great comedy, super fun show to uh, to watch leisurely. So uh, try it out. Oh yes! All right. So this is a show that I know, but it's not one that I've ever talked about because a uh, it's a movie slash OVA, so it never aired on TV, which is what I try to mostly have on my channel is like actual series that air on TV and uh, it's not that good as as much as I want it to be. I think it's a good 
like it's a good idea. I think it was done all right, but the reception was kind of meh. Um, can't really tell you where they went wrong about it, but um, this is from Gyo Tokyo Fish Attack. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it's, it's called. Um, it's an horror anime. If you've seen everything else, give it a try. Maybe you'll like it. It has a really a secluded fan base. Let's put it like that. Um, this is an easy one as well because it is uh, the art style is really iconic. I think it's from Studio Ghibli again. So. Um, the anime is called uh, Kaguya Hime no Monogatari, the tale of Princess Kaguya Hime. Well, Princess Kaguya. Uh, this is from a show that, again, has a really particular fan base. So, this anime is from uh, Strike the Blood. It's not really a show that I enjoy much, but maybe some of you will like it. I'm so hot. Me too, I'm bursting! This is from Shimoneta. I think it's from episode 1. Because I've seen episode 1, and I think I remember the scene. <laughs> but contextually, it, it, it kind of feels like it's from Shimoneta anyway. Just so you know, this was my first kiss. My sister kissed me on the cheek. Booyah! Eh. Uh, this is from Kokoro Connect, which is a super, super good anime. So, um, if you want to give it a try, it has an incredible premise too. So, uh, a bit of supernatural stuff going on, but nothing too crazy. I highly recommend this one. You're a faggot. Well, that's not really nice. But this anime is from Puchimas, so... Uh, I think this is a good point to wrap it all up. You guys have been wonderful. Uh, there's like a thousand of submission every time, so if I didn't get to get to your gift, uh, send it again in the next video that we're gonna make, and hopefully I'll get to it this time. If you want to take part in the next Guess the Anime, uh, follow me on Twitter, at Crenexia, and I'll make posts every now and then saying like, hey, submit your gifts, and I'll try to identify them. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the very next video I make whenever I do it, which should be Friday, because this bitch is gonna take me about two days to edit. Uh, there's always a lot of stuff to go with this, so... Uh, but they're fun and you guys like to watch it, so... Yeah, see you Friday with the top 10. It's gonna be good. This one's gonna be good.